Good evening once again. This is Eric here with Kwaki. And we are here for our next activity. Our next activity is what we call the robot motion control. Robot motion control. So in simple terms, we are going to uh, write a code to move quacky. So robot motion control, that's why. So as you can see, uh, I've already launched Pito Blocks and Quacky is connected and we are ready to go. But before we go ahead to write our code, we need to understand the logic of how Quacky moves. So as you can see, Quacky has got two ties here. So we have the left and the right. So one on the left and one on the right. So we want to understand how Quacky moves. Now, in order for Quacky to move in a forward direction, the left tie should move forward and the right tie should move forward in order for Quacky to go in a forward direction. In order for Quacky to go backwards, the left tie should move backwards and the right tie should move backwards. Now, in order for Quacky to uh, turn left, that is a left motion, do a left motion, that is turn left, the left motto should turn backwards while the right moto turns forward. So that is it. For Quacky to do a left motion, that is it, to be turning to the left. So the left moto goes backwards and the right moto goes forward. In order for Quacky to do a right motion, the left moto goes forward and the right moto goes backwards. So let us try this out in Pito Blocks and see how Quacky is going to move. So we are going to begin first with the forward movement. Right, so let's get to our code. So we are going to make use of our robot extension. So as you can see, robot extension. So once we select our robot extension, we are going to use run, 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 left moto forward. And as we said, for a forward movement, the left moto should move forward and the right moto should also move forward. So we are going to bring another one. So run, right, moto, forward. And uh, we want there to be a waiting time of one second. One second. So control, then we bring this here, one second. Right. So we want it to move and stop. We want it to move and stop. So in order for it to stop, we stop the left motor, then we stop the right motor. So we are going to stop it. So we go to the robot extension again. So we look for stop. Stop left motor, stop right motor. So Finally, in order for our code to be complete, we need to use the event palette. So we are going to use the when green flag is clear. So now our code is ready. So I'm going to set Quacky for it to move. Now once I click on the green flag, it should make Quacky move. So let's do that. Okay. 
Let's try that again. We click on the green flag. Okay, so that is the forward movement. That is the forward movement. Right, so we saw Kwaki move forward. Now we are going to do a back movement. So all we are going to do is to change forward to backward in our previous code. Right, so now that we have changed the forward to backward, now let's run our code and see. So once the green flag is clicked, Quacky is going to move backwards. Let's click on the green flag and let's see how Quacky moves. So Quacky is going back. Let's do that again. So Quacky is going back. Let's try that again. So we press on the green flag. So Quacky is moving back and stops. Okay, so that is the backward movement. Right, so now we are going to do the left movement. So with the left movement, as we said earlier on, the left motor should move backward and the right motor should move forward. So we are going to make that change. The left motor moves backward and the right motor moves forward. So the rest of the code remains the same. So let's run that and see what happens when the green flag is clicked. When the green flag is clicked. So we are doing a left movement. So let's see when the green flag is clicked. So it's, it is turning left, doing a left movement. Let's do that again. Let's do that again. Right. So as you can see, that is a left movement. So finally, with the right movement, we know that the left motor should move forward and the right motor should move backwards. So we are going to change this. Left motor moves forward, right motor moves backward. So that is for the right movement. So we are going to run the code and see how it goes. So when the green flag is clicked, Quacky is going to do a right movement. So let's see. So Quacky does a right movement. Let's do that again. Quacky does a right movement. Finally, Quacky does a right movement. So that is that. So our robot Quacky is able to move per the code that we gave. So this activity is what we call the robot motion control. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope to see you in the next activity. Bye-bye.